This Friday is about to be really special. Free, free, free. free. Download, download, download. Friday. More about that effect in another video. Trap Tendo. What is going on, guys? DJ Av here of Trap Tendo. Smash that like button. Free download Friday on a Friday. I know it hasn't been like that for a while. Anyways, so I want to check out a software called virtual mpc 2000 xl or vmpc 2000 xl shout out to peter kern for making a article about this software developer and he is mr cork sniffer himself and i think i should credit him in the description so i will do that so you can read the original article as well as link you to the software full disclosure this is unlicensed software so don't expect it to work very good it's not supposed to be a replacement for battery or anything like that uh, it is really good and it has some bugs and it did crash my ableton live when i tried to pull it up as a vst plugin however i would like you guys both windows and mac heads it does work for you guys to check it out and i know the akai aka the boomer producer gang will enjoy this as well as some of the diaper gang as well so that's why i'm covering it in this video and also if you don't know how the mpc 2000 xl works well i'll have a tutorial linked in the description box from a dope channel and i want to give him credit where credit is due as well because i want to help him grow the community because he's a great teacher and the 2000 xl being my favorite mpc that is why i'm doing this video so special free download friday let's check it out y'all boys better not say a damn thing about my damn desktop but anyways let's go <laughs> and check out the mpc 2000 xl standalone software it loads and it comes with this stuff right here uh, it has not been authorized or whatever or approved by in music uh, though i think in music better jump on this while they can i think this is just a, a great alternative uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and get rid of my overlay here because I want it to be uh, thumbnail material. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do this. So now we're looking at this. There are some options that you can choose over here. I'm going to go into my options so that you guys can see it. Uh, you can choose your audio and MIDI settings. Uh, I chose my uh, Acheria Azio driver. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can mute the audio input so you don't get any feedback looping. Uh, you can still hear my voice, so I'm very confident that you can hear that. Uh, you also can choose what is your active input channels. Uh, I have my one and two tracks selected uh, just for this video. And also you can select your sample rate, uh, though I think it does not work in 4800 hertz or 48,000 hertz or 48 kilohertz. Yeah, so I don't know. You also can select your uh, MIDI input as well, so you can have a keyboard uh, plugged up to it. So that's pretty cool. So uh, keyboard test here. Uh, I might have to go down an octave or whatever. Yeah, uh, I had to go down an octave on my MIDI keyboard here. Yeah, this map kind of crazy. But you can see it's active on the screen here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, some other things that I want to show you guys is that it does work with like your cursor or whatever. So this is important. Again, remember I was talking about numpads and stuff like that. Uh, so it does work with the numpad and that's the reason why I was talking about the numpad. But uh, if you don't have a numpad, you can use this right over here. It just won't feel as natural, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you can adjust the BPM over here and I'm going to go ahead and adjust it to like, you know, I don't know, 92 or something like that. I don't know, something around there. You can see how it moves in increments here. Uh, I'm trying to get it <laughs> uh, exact. This is actually how the struggle was on the real MPC. Uh, for those who always tried to sample other people that had uh, MPCs uh, for your music for today. Uh, now I can use the cursor, uh, the up, down, and left, right cursor. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you can change the timing over here. So you can change it from 16 to off which is basically your quantize. Uh, this data knob is very, very sensitive. I uh, just like to, goodness gracious. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can set it. And the three means triplets. Uh, you also can set the time signatures right here. Just gotta hit left on the cursor and you can turn count on and off. The count sounds very traditional. So that's the traditional MPC 2000 XL uh, countdown. Uh, you can turn loop on and off. Uh, you can set your bars. Uh, and then you can select your tracks. Of course, you know, we're on track one anyways. Uh, we have an on program off uh, program. Select the program here. 
There we go. Uh, so I know the first thing that people are going to ask me is like, well, how, how do you sample stuff in here? Because that's the main thing, right? Well, uh, you have your function keys over here. Well, you have your function keys up here, which does uh, correlate to the function keys on your keyboard. So uh, keep that in mind. So function one would be actually function one on your keyboard inside of the software. Uh, so with that, you can also hit the shift button and you will see down here, which is a little difficult, but you can see sample trim. Uh, what's that program? Uh, yeah, so I have song, uh, miscellaneous load, and then you also have a MIDI, uh, mix sync, MIDI sync. Okay, there we go. And other and mixer. So I got to hit shift and four and that will pull up the mixer here. Uh, uh, with that, you can select your input. Of course, you, it says analog and you can make it digital and you know, you can set it to stereo as well in here. Uh, but I do if recommend if you are going to interface this with your MPC 2000 Excel in real life that you keep it uh, on mono because, you know, mono files are smaller, but, you know, you can do what you want. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, monitor, you can choose to monitor it in and let me see uh, seven and eight. Let's go down. It's not going to be seven and eight. I want uh, there we go. It should be left and right or one and two. So uh for some reason, uh, when I'm trying to use it again, I do think it's because the MPC 2000 XL is actually at one. Uh, well, the MPC 2000 XL sample rate is limited to 44.1 kilohertz, and my actual uh, my actual interface itself is at 48,000 kilohertz, uh, 48 kilohertz. Yeah, so I don't think that's it's why it's, I don't think I think that's why it's not interfacing at all, but you can adjust the record gain over here. And, you know, if you was if you had that functionality, it'd be F6 to record. And if you was to record, it would show you the levels or whatever. Uh, but it's not going to do that now. Uh, but if you go and uh, dang, I try to hit the screen. Remember, you got to use the function buttons. Uh, then it says uh, sign sound assign it to uh, note uh, 36A2. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I would do retry or play or, you know, if you wanted to play it, uh, let's play it. It's not, uh, of course, it's not playing anything because nothing was recorded in there. So, you know, again, this is kind of buggy, but, you know, I just want to give you a little bit of a, a walkthrough. Again, this is not a tutorial on how to use it. So tell me how you feel about this video. Man, this is a very special video for me because when I found out about this, I wanted to check it out because one of the main things I really like about this is that it interfaces with the original MPC 2000 Excel. So you can pull up files with inside of the virtual one and you can do vice versa transfer. And so that means if you like working on the 2000 Excel, you have something that is very custom to what you like. And it has a lot of the great things that I like about the UI altogether. I thoroughly enjoy, it, even though I know Akai has the MPC 2.0 software out there that can do about the same things i think that this one though it is very limited in its functionality is akin to the limitations of the mpc 2000 excel so i don't think anybody should complain if you can't do pitch slidey 808s or anything like that because that doesn't exist in the mpc 2000 excel you, well sort of you can do it but it's a little complicated but other than that though uh, i really like it some of the things i do and i know i'm reviewing it a little bit but you know some suggestions i would definitely like to hear the data knob have the scrubbing sound when you scroll with that parameter that would just be a nice touch as well as if you hit one of the tactile buttons on there that you hear the little click i think that is just a nice touch a nostalgia and i think a lot of people would appreciate that just one of those small little nuances could enhance the software i definitely would love to see an ios version uh, even though i know right now it's still just an open source code it would be really dope for that and i know i have a lot of criticisms of ios production but you know we'll get into that in another video but still though it would be really dope especially his functionality or whatnot uh yeah i give it the stamp of approval i know again this is free software i definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section what do you suggest for this did it work for you uh did it work inside of your daw and and what other things that you would think that would be great for the developer to add to the software. So therefore we can all be extra happy because it is free right now, but man, I would pay for it to have great functionality and definitely some nostalgia nuances as, as well, to be honest.